Hello. Sure. It's hot today. I'd better get some cool drink ready for the safari kids because they'll be thirsty. Hello, all of you. It's hot today, isn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh. When we're coming past the dam on our way here, mm -hmm. it looked like the dam had no water in it. Yeah. There was a little bit of water. But if it stays out like this, it will all go. Is that calling for us? Yes, of course it is, mm -hmm. Olivia. Why don't you pull some up for everyone? Olivia, you got much more than me. No, I haven't. I measured it out carefully. How do you measure it? Look at my glass and look at yours. It's just a different shape. No, yours just has more cold drink in it. Uh, oh dear, let's not argue. I'll tell you what, we can work it out. Okay, Offensi, you pour your cold drink into here. Okay. What does that say? Hmm. Hmm. 100, 200, 225, 250, 275, 275 ml. What ml? Tabo, can you tell us? It's milliliters. Oh. Yes, indeed it is. It's a measurement, usually, of a liquid. Now, what is bigger than milliliters? Liters. Good. Ufense, would you put your cool drink back in your glass? Okay. Now, Olivia, you pour yours into the jug. And then, put it in front of you and tell us what it says. 100, 200, 225, 250 milliliters. So offense, you actually got more than me. How could that be? Her glass was bigger than mine. Ah, oh, sometimes you can't tell just by looking at the glass. The capacity is often different. Capacity? That's the maximum amount that can be held in something. Ah, oh, we're going to capacity. <laughs> <laughs> What? Where are they going? Capacity? Hey, I thought they were going to the farm. Why are they going to a city? They can't see the horses and the chickens there. And they'll have to be careful in the city. It's full of cars and trucks and people. Hey, what, what? I hope Mike Laura doesn't let them go to capacity. So which glass had the greater capacity? Offenses or Olivia's? Offenses because it held more cool drink. Yes, and a friend accused me of pouring him less cool drink. What do you think the capacity of this bottle is? Hmm. A litre. How did you know that? Oh, it says it on the side. <laughs> I've seen women carry bottles of water on their heads. Not just bottles, they carry big water barrels. Isn't there water in the taps? Well, in some places, Ufense, there is no tap water. They have to get the water from a tap that is far away or from a river. How many times a day would they have to go and fetch the water? Well, as many as they need to, really. And how much water would they use in a day? They probably use very little because it's hard to get. Now, how much water do you think a woman can carry? Uh, five litres. I'd say a bit more than that, Fancy. 25 litres? That's more like a Jolandi. That's not much water. Is it? Mm-mm. It would be much better if they had a Golovane. A what? A Golovane. This is what a Golovane looks like. The Golovane is ideal for use in rural communities as well as on farms to transport household goods, harvests, building and fencing material, or fertilizer up to a mass of 500 kilograms. 
The cart can also carry two 210-litre drums side by side in the back for food or water. So the Golovan can carry goods in litres or in kilograms, up to 420 litres or 500 kilograms. Hey, that's great. I'd like one of those Golovans. I'll start up my own taxi business and I'll charge to take people to school. And where are you going to get an ox? No problem. You can pull the back. Ah! <laughs> well, Gloria, how many people can fit in the Golovan? Well, we've just heard that it can take a mass of 500 kilograms. Now, how many people do you think that is? Well, I have the mass of about 30 kilograms. What? You small. I'm tall and I've got lots of muscle. I weigh 45 kilograms. Okay. So if we took a whole lot of people of a fence's size, then how many do you think the Golovan would be able to carry? It carries 500 kilograms. Yes. Well, you divide 500 by 45, which is what each person weighs. So what does this give us? Show us on the board, please, Tabo. Here's some chalk. Thank you. Okay. 500 divided by 45. Forty-five can't go into five. Forty-five can go into fifty. Once. Forty-five times one equals forty-five. Into minus. Not minus five you can't do. Ten minus five equals five. Four minus four equals not. Bring down. Forty-five goes into fifty once. Mm -hmm. One times forty-five equals forty-five minus not count four. Ten minus five equals five. Four minus four equals not. Now, Gloria, it's eleven remainder five. Okay, which would give us fractions, and we don't have fractions of people. So, that'll give us 11 people. Good. And we can check it by doing it the other way. You can multiply 11 people by how much they weigh, which is 45 kilograms. Okay, that's 11 times 45. That's 5. And that's five, that's four, that's four, that's five, and that's nine. So that's 495 kilograms, which is just under 500 kilograms. But it'll be uncomfortable for 11 people to stand in a ghetto van. Yes, that's true, Yolandi, but it does carry other things, like water. It can actually carry two drums of water. How much is in each drum? Well, each drum carries 210 litres. Now, how much does that make in total? 420. So, actually, it carries more water in one trip than someone carries on their head. And, of course, one person has to make the trip every day to go and get the water. Tabo. Can you please show us on the board how many litres one person would, could bring in one week? Twenty-five times by mm -hmm. seven. Give us seven times five equals thirty-five. Seven times two equals fourteen plus three equals 17. So, one person would fetch 175 litres a week. And one trip in the Golovan can carry? 120 litres. So how much more can the Golovan carry in just one trip? Not minus five, can't do. 
10 minus 5 equals 5. 1 minus 7 equals D. 3. 11 minus 7. 4. 3 minus 1 equals 2. So the Gollum van can carry 245 litres more in just one truck. The Gollum van is a good idea, isn't it? Mmm! Mm -hmm. Hey, Mavin! Ah, Mavin! Ah, uh, where's the cool drink bottle? Uh, which one? The one we finished last week. Ah, it's in the kitchen. Why? Well, I want to use it to put some water into the fridge. Okay. Hmm. Tell me, how much water should I put in it? Ah, you could put a litre in it. A litre? Why? Because that's the capacity of the cool drink bottle. Hi, uh, Mavin. What do you mean? I mean the cool drink bottle holds a litre. Oh, yes, but that's a litre of cool drink. Uh, so? But, but I'm going to use it for water. <clears throat> Mavin, mm -hmm. the bottle will hold a litre of any liquid because the bottle has the capacity of a litre. Hey, <laughs> you think you're so smart, ne? So how do you know it holds a litre? Because it says so on the bottle. Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I got you there, Mr. Smarty. It doesn't hold a litre. It says on the bottle it holds one L. Mm. Anything you say, Marvin. <laughs> one L, not litre. <laughs> You know when you go to the farm next week? Yes. Does the farmer have a gullivan? No, this farmer is very lucky. He has water piped to his farm and he just turns on the tap. Shame, I was looking forward to riding the gullivan. And we could have all gone into it at the same time. Probably, but don't you worry, Fancy. I'm sure there'll be a whole lot of other things you can ride on at the farm. Yes. Horses! Yes, horses! <laughs> What, what? Now I see. Capacity isn't a place. It tells you how much something can hold. Like the Golovan has a capacity of 500 kilogram mass. What a fantastic invention the Golovan is. What, what? I wish I had one to fetch all my bananas from the jungle. What, what, what? <laughs> Bye, everyone. See you next time. Bye. Bye. How much can it hold? Oh!